What's up y'all? I'm Matt Swigum and welcome to my channel, Salty Swigs. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. I do saltwater fishing along the Alabama Gulf Coast and surrounding areas. So if you like that kind of stuff, smash the like button down below. Please consider subscribing. We're out here in the kayak today, as you can see. Um, there's a little squeak. Sorry about that. Try to get through it. Uh, but yeah, we're throwing artificial lures and uh, trolling artificial lures right now in the kayak. I'll kind of explain what I'm doing out here. But yeah, we are targeting speckled trout. And uh, after the sun kind of peaks up a little bit more, we're going to go um, see if we can't find any flatfish. Flounder. So y'all stick around. Let's go. There we go. That's a pretty good one. You like that? Like good head shakes too. Wow. She's lively. Good fish. All right, y'all, on the board. So you want to dunk your board before you put fish on it. Uh, just helps keep their slime coating. This one won't have an issue. It's super lively. It's 20 inches. We'll pop a tag in her. All right. See you later, big girl. So when I'm trolling, I like to put that lure about 50 to up to 100 feet out the back. Typically, I'm gonna troll a soft plastic on a 3 16 to a quarter ounce jig head. And I like to have tail action on it. So either like a grub tail or a fluke or wedge tails, um, you know, anything with a little tail action works well. All right, we got a trout on the troll. Just passed over a ledge here, marked a few fish, and we hooked up. Definitely a trout. Later. 
So when you're trolling, it does help to follow like contour lines and stuff. Now, if you don't have a fish finder, and you see I'm following these contour lines here, and that's just soft structure, ledges, and stuff like that. And if you don't have a fish finder on your kayak or even on your boat or whatever, um, try trolling a heavier jig head, like a quarter ounce or even maybe a little heavier. And then you'll be able to see the jig head actually hitting bottom in different areas and different depths. And you can find ledges, <clears throat> excuse me, you can find ledges and stuff like that. Um, that way and that's a good way for um, to depth hunt basically to find different ledges and stuff like that and if you want to you can correlate that to like Google Maps and as you're moving you can see where the ledges are on Google Maps and um, see where that depth changes and everything and see if there's fish holding there because typically you're gonna find fish on depth changes all right, we're hooked up again on the troll. Another trout. Little guy. The little guy right there on that 3 16th ounce this is a k wigglers um what are these called diamond tails or something like that nice little trout so i just got that trout second one on the troll this is the k wigglers laguna flage color this is the um willow tail and i cut the willow tail my buddy showed me this and um, it just creates more tail action almost like a paddle tail that's a 3 16 ounce jig head 20 pound mono leader this is 10 pound braid on here um, just throwing my bait caster metanium uh, this is the tfo tactical bass uh, six or 610 medium uh, fast action rod and um, I think the tail action is key when trolling and um, also a little tip is to do this if I can get it is get you some pro gear and put some pro gear on there and uh, you don't need much of this stuff um, but that helps too when you're trolling so put some of that on there and uh send that puppy out the back There we go. On the slick custom, baby. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Chill. Get you right back. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful trout. Male. Croaking. Um. I guess females do have that same organ too that makes them croak. Dr. Dormat told me that. But um, typically, if you if you have one that's croaking like that, that's going to be a male trout. <clears throat> right where I picked that one up on the troll, they're still hanging out over here. And I am throwing that big slick. This is a piment color, which is actually a pink color that um, I dyed with these soft plastic markers. Um, 
and it's purple and chartreuse if you can't tell but yeah this has just been super fun to do super rewarding when you catch a fish on a bait that you customized and uh, and it's my favorite lure so gotta love it and how I'm working the bait is just this reeling technique. As you can see, I'm not twitching it or anything. Um, this has been very productive in the fall and winter for me. Um, and I get, I get good hook sets because I don't have any slack in my line. I'm keeping tension on it the whole time. So I've been getting really good hook sets. Um, like that fish, I, I felt it hit twice. Um, it hit and then kind of suck the bait in after. So that second hit was that sucking the bait in. And that's when I set the hook on it. And if you can't tell right away that it's just sucked that big slick right in, um, then wait one or two seconds to set the hook um, and let that trout get that bait in its mouth. Cause it is such a big bait and you gotta turn it sideways and get that hook out of that bait to set it. So you really want it to be good into their mouth. Uh, now you don't want to wait too long, like you're waiting on a sheep's head bite or something, but, but yeah, give it a second or two if you're having trouble um, getting hook sets on the big slick lure. All right, we're on on the troll again. This is being very productive. Another trout, not a big one, but hey, we're finding fish. Oh, hey, little guy. All right, relax. Chill. There we go, y'all. Beautiful trout. Look at how pretty that one is. Nice. All right, chill, later. So something to keep in mind when you're trolling and you get a bite, you don't wanna stop. Um, you don't want to like kill the trolling motor or just stop and turn back on it right away like keep pushing and Grab that rod and make sure there's tension on it because like that one right there bit it like two or three times and If I would have stopped and turned back on it. It may have put it out of the strike zone so just keep on going the same pace and everything and once you get that fish on and your rod loads up Pretty much, as long as your drag isn't super loose, um, that that hook is set. So you're good at that point, and um, yeah, you're on. So y'all should definitely try trolling. Um, it is a very productive way to find fish, and then you can always turn back on those fish and start casting. I'm going to a different area, so I'm trolling to that area and I'm trolling ledges and docks and stuff like that um, on my way over there. And I was like, I was like, if you've got anything, we're not coming back. I don't care. <laughs> That's why you don't get up so early. You forget everything. Right. <laughs> well, I think it's because like this, this, you know, this, this whole trip it really hasn't been like a serious trip. You know what I mean? Right. I'm, you know, I'm not like that serious. Got another. Things, so I got another dinker do here. Dinker do? Yeah. I think it may be 10 inches. Oh, it's a white trout. Near the ramp. Oh, we got another one. It's a flounder. It's a flounder? How big is it? Looks like 16. Okay. 
shy of 15. Just shy of 15. What a, what a fucking liar. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's a nice one. That bitch barely went legal. <laughs> uh, it's a baby whale. <laughs> it's a baby whale. On the board yet, you know. All right. Well, there you go. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Hope you learned a little bit about throwing artificials and trolling. Um, that can trolling, in, in particular, can be a very productive method of finding fish and then turning back on that area and casting in that area and picking up a few more fish. So it's a great way to uh, find fish and um, find different depths and ledges and stuff like that, contour lines. Um, so definitely try it out, y'all. You can do it on a boat if you got a trolling motor um, to not use the big one in the back. Or you can do it on a kayak or you can try the big motor. I've seen people do it every way. So it's a productive way of fishing. Y'all try it out. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button down below. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, y'all stay salty. Ooh.